Hello my friends, it's Miss Patty from the Gosstown Public Library and today is Monday, August 10th and I'm here to talk to you about our STEAM activity of the week. So if you are participating in our online uh, Read Squared program for logging your activities and your reading and all the fun stuff that you've been doing this summer to earn points, uh, th then you should know that I'll be announcing in a few uh, minutes a secret code that you can type into your Read Squared account to earn 20 points just for watching this video today. If you are not participating in that, have no idea what I'm talking about, but would like to learn more, please feel free to reach out to me at the library, Patty P at GoffstownLibrary.com, and that's Patty with an I, not a Y, or you can just give us a call right here at the library. Okay, so today's activity, let me put on my glasses, is Bird Nest, week seven Bird Nest. Hopefully you had a chance to pick up your supplies for this activity last week. Um, if you have not, you probably are able to uh, get all this around your house um, or we may have some extras here at the library so you can always reach out and ask. But let's see what's inside the bag. I'll preview the materials before Miss Doreen uh, actually demonstrates how you're making a bird nest. And I don't know if you are uh, someone who really likes birds. This summer, I've really gotten into watching the birds in my backyard, and it really is interesting to think about how they create those nests uh, that are so high up in the tree. I'd love to get a ladder and climb up, but I'm not that brave, because I'd love to really see what it looks like on the inside. So inside, as always, we have this lovely list of instructions, and it uh, lists that the items provided in your bag are the following. Soil, you'll have a small amount of dirt, soil. Some Spanish moss, a piece, pieces of yarn, a paper bowl, some flower, fake flower pieces, some raffia, which is sort of like a string, and then uh, two sticks put together with a rubber ba band made to look like a bird beak, and then some plastic wrap. So, I'll pull those out. So in this bag um, are most of the items that I mentioned, the raffia, the flowers, the moss, the, the leaves. And then also, let's see, is the bowl, the soil, some wax paper, and of course, the two pieces of wood put together to look like a bird beak, because you're gonna pretend that you're a bird building a nest in just a minute. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Miss Doreen. Thanks, Miss Patty. We're gonna make a bird's nest today. So, in order to start, you have everything Miss Patty just talked to you about in your package, so you should have everything in front of you. The first thing you're gonna do is take your bowl and you'll have your um, wax paper and you're gonna just lay it inside of your bowl. And what that's gonna do is when all of the, um, the nest that you make has dried up, you can easily take it out and put it to wherever you want it to go. There are lots of birds here on the library lawn and I think I might put mine right inside the the tree line right there. So first, to make all this stuff stick together, we need some bird spit. But I'm not a bird, so I gotta make some bird spit. So the first thing you're gonna do is take some of that um, ground soil that I have in the cup and you're gonna take some water from home, I didn't provide that, and you're gonna put it in to make almost like a paste. You don't want it too soupy, but you want it enough to make like a, a paste for all of the twigs and, and moss to stick together, okay? Now you notice in my hand I'm stirring it with this um, beak. This is a beak that I made for you. It's topped and bottom and I put an elastic at the top. So you're gonna have to use those fine motor skills to pick up pieces like a bird would have to. So first, let's start with a little bit of spit. Here we go. I'm just gonna dab some spit in there. I'm cheating a little bit, okay. Now, I'm gonna pick up some moss with my beak. And then I'm gonna add some spit to push it all around and lay it down flat. And we're gonna stick some leaves in it. So this is gonna kind of shape and mold into a bird's nest. 
I have some cute little flowers and some everyday leaves that birds pick up. And you're just gonna wanna tuck it underneath. Kinda try to go in like a circular motion. Cause if you look at a bird's nest, oops, I'm not using my, my beak. It has that circular feel to it. Almost like a circle. <laughs> All right. Now something else that's on the ground that birds find, yarn. Let's try to incorporate that. It's kind of windy right now, so I can't imagine how a bird has to do this in rain or snow or... <laughs> But if you keep using your fingers, we're actually doing some good engineering here and creating this beautiful little nest for our home. Got some more moss and some more little flowers. And now just keep topping it off with some bird spit. So when I let this dry, I'll be able to lift it up and pull off the wax and it will be in that mold. So using your critical thinking skills and your engineering skills and your motor fine motor skills, you'll be able to work on this steam project and have a beautiful bird's nest. Hope you have fun. Let me know how it turns out. Take a picture of it and send it to us here at the Goffstown Public Library. You can do Patty P at GoffstownLibrary.com or Doreen V at GoffstownLibrary.com. Back to you, Miss Patty. Thanks, Miss Doreen. That looks like a lot of fun, as always. All right, everybody. I hope that you have a lot of fun building your nests. Um, as always, we love to see pictures of the things that you create, so send those our way. And I guess the last thing for me to share with you is of course that secret code I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So the secret code for participating and watching the video today is cardinal, as in the type of bird, a cardinal. C-A-R-D-I-N-A-L all in uppercase letters. So if you add that to your Read Squared account, you will earn yourself 20 points. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you back here next Monday for our, actually our final STEAM activity video of the summer. Take care, everyone.